right, everybody. We just took the top frame off over there. That's, that was the frame holding this all up. So now we're starting to space this out with these little spacer bars to get this top part the right width. And then they're gonna unleash the crack in here and let this uh, bottom part out because the bottom's supposed to be 24 outside uh, diam outside uh, dimension. And so they're gonna allow it to come out to 24 now on the bottom which will be on the other side of that post there. They're going to turn it upside down now, I guess. Yep, we're turning it upside down. So we're get, getting all the nails that uh, were holding it into the size that they wanted it. That's a big one. Yeah, and you get a piece of wood to put on under there. There we go. A little additional leverage. We're turning it over on the side. And then I guess we're going to flip it onto the upside down, basically. That's what's going to happen now. Honey, what? Honey, talk. Uh, no, I think the epoxy will stick better. I need to tell them. I think the epoxy will stick better if it's got more texture. It'll stick better. If it's smooth like glass, it's not going to stick as good. Honey, tell them if it's smooth like, like glass, it's not going to stick as good. It's got to have holes to grab. Okay, so anyway, we're discussing whether we want to sand that top edge of the thing. What they do, they notch. Uh-huh. Okay. There he goes. To tell him. No, no, no. What, what, what's he doing? Oh, oh this. Um, why don't you tell him let me do it? Because it's very easy to go like that. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to cut this and then I'll be back. I, I got to cut this edge right here. See this edge right? This lip. This is this is where the uh, this is where the three cut. I can start back there. I can start back there. Okay, honey. You follow the. Honey, I can start back there. Yes. You can start there. Okay. Okay. This. Okay. Uh, this is going to be in my way here. This, uh, this wood here. Can I Yeah, you can cut that. Puede ya putlon tuya? Okay, okay, you can cut that. The nail, watch for the nail. Okay, now I don't have a guide here. Okay, there's no guide here. So I'm gonna come up here, honey, oh. and then go yeah. down. Okay. And then we're gonna go where oh. the Thank you. That might be better to cut on this side, honey. Okay, honey, yeah. ask him. Uh, I have to put on my glasses. Oh, my cool. So, what's your young glasses? <laughs> okay. Be my claro. Now, ask them, is this close enough? Or is that okay? Or is it all the way flat? Because I can do better with my glasses. Kuya, kinanglan ba yun ito kuya or saktura na kuya? You need to, to, you need to, hold from the wood, you need to hold the way to the wood.
No, no, don't cut. I don't break. <laughs> okay, I'll come back and cut this one the opposite. Yeah, honey, Tom, I can cut that too. Honey, Tom, I can cut that too. Oh, Mama, you can't do that. I'm not going to cut Yeah, honey, ask them if they like power tools. Get on, but almost power tools. Honey, I told you you can stop now. I'll stop now. We're kind of, you know, we trimmed off the excess uh, out of the cuts there, the plywood that extended past them. Now we're uh, cleaning it, getting it all smooth, and we're using a, a grinder with a sanding disc on it to, uh, you know, do kind of the finish work, kind of make a nice uh, smooth arc because they, 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 they really have a good eye. You know, for this stuff uh, and doing everything uh, even by hand, it's just amazing how uh, symmetrical they can get stuff. It really is amazing. So, anyway, we'll let them do this and then we'll be back with it's kind of dark, but we'll be back with the next step Bo building trimarans in my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. So basically what we was doing with the jigsaw or saber saw is cutting the excess plywood here and just kind of following this uh, board here and trimming off the excess plywood and uh, make it where the cuts go. This, like, this, like I said, these, these are, they say three cut boats, but I call them four, but we'll say three because they're probably, <laughs> I know they're right and I'm not. So yeah, so you, you got your cut here. Your first piece of plywood goes from the bow all the way to here. Your second piece of plywood goes here. Your third piece of plywood goes here. And I hope that's not too dark because we're in the sun. Your fourth piece of plywood extends to the back of the boat. So we are cleaning up the bottom and getting it ready for something. I don't know what, but we're getting it ready for something. They're going to flip it. And we'll be back with more. We're going to flip the boat. Bye for now. What's going on here is we're grooving this piece of wood here. You see that groove he's putting in there with his planer? That's so that on the top side, the quarter inch plywood slides inside there. And actually, the plywood's going up. And then they cap it with that. And that plywood goes inside that groove there. So that's what we're doing now, grooving this for the top so we will be back with more groovy boat building trimaran building on Medallion Island and well actually not on Medallion Island <laughs> from my paradise on Medallion Island bye for now they're cleaning up the, the front of the bow here making all smooth and and that it's kind of hard to see because we got a lot of sun in the background I'll try the other side there we go yeah, so getting it all ship shaped smoothing out the epoxy and stuff so we're doing the cleanup work now and then I think they're going to put those rails on the top of the, the thin plywood on the side here they're going to cap it you see that groove that's going to slide down on here and then that'll make a like a flat piece of wood going down the side so they angled this there with their planer, and then they notched this with their other planer, and they got it all really nice looking piece of wood. So we will let them do their thing, and we will be back with more making it 
ship shape. Bye for now. See, just kind of sizing up these side rails. They're kind of tacking them in place. And now he's going to have to mark this one and cut it so that it, see how it grooves and fits inside of there. He's doing that same one to that one. So we got the first one pretty much grooved and marked and everything and good to go. And now we're doing the, the, the next one here. So we will groove on and be back with more. So my paradise on Bintayan Island. This trimaran is growing every day. Bye for now. So now they just actually put the notch in there with the chisel. They sawed this angle here and then they chiseled the rest of it and now they're kind of smoothing it out with the chis ch chisel and now see they notch it and check it make sure it's all even and then he cuts the angle which you can't see because the lighting's not good there you go well that and then that one matches up with this one inside here so we We'll let him get that done down there. So this is hand sawing here. So sorry for the flashing light. It's just there's some sunshine behind him, and when the photo sensor hits that, it kind of goes crazy. So we'll be back with more for my paradise on Italian Island. We're cutting the piece of wood on the top of the side, whatever that's called. Bye for now. See how it matches up? Look at how tight that is just with a hand. Yeah, just all that's by hand. All that's by hand. Like a, almost a perfect cut. He's, he's actually going to trim just a hair off of this part of it right here so that the top matches and this side here slides up equal to that one. It's a little bit behind so he's going to trim that out. And then, then we'll be good to go. So, these in and the angle now they're mark notching going to mark where the notches are because these ribs have to go inside of that so that that groove that I showed you earlier can slide down on the plywood so we'll let them do that so see now they're undoing it now they'll notch it and then they'll come back and do the same on this side too so we'll be back with more and they got that uh, front there fitting perfectly now so we'll be back with more for my paradise on the Italian island bye for now I told you they were notching these things these are the notches they're putting next to the groove so that these piece these whoops, I'm zoomed in. these pieces of wood along with this groove for this piece of plywood and this notch that's what's going on here they're notching them all right there with your chisels so once they get notched, they marked them all. That's what they were doing uh, before marking them. Now they're just cutting out where they had marked. So we are good to go with <laughs> chiseling and notching. And pretty soon we're going to be doing some epoxying. So that'll be uh, when production kind of comes to a halt. Because after you epoxy, you you got to let it dry. So you can't be wiggling stuff and messing with stuff. So... Once they do that, this will be all epoxy, and this will be set there, and let, they'll let it dry. So, we will be back with more building trimarans from my paradise on Italian Island. This is how you do it, baby. They're doing now. They're using the planer to just kind of notch that front part of that uh, rib there, so that when they slide it on there, it goes on easy. They don't have to. Don't it doesn't get stuck because they got to put the epoxy on here and everything and then push it all down so if it gets stuck and they got all the epoxy on there it just gets to be a mess so that is why they're making sure everything's going to work out dandy and they'll test it now i think the dry ones they'll, they'll test this now and again we're kind of fighting against the sunlight here with the camera color uh, the camera light so we will let them kind of 
clean up a little bit here and we'll be back with more for my paradise on Battalion Island. We're getting it cleaned up, ready to test it out. Bye for now. And now they're actually doing the test fit here. So if they can pop that into that groove, get it in that groove, and get all the rims stuck in the notches. And then they'll tack them as they go to make sure everything drops down like it should. And it should drop down to that pencil line there because that's, that's how deep it should be. So, we'll see how that goes. Everybody, what they're doing now is putting the epoxy down in the grooves and stuff so they mixed it all up. Now they're packing it in here so when they slide it on this edge it glues it. And of course they will nail it also like those like that little bronze nail they have there. So they'll just slap it on there and get it all nice and nice and epoxy. Yeah, and you tell them to go ahead and mix up more if they need to. Well, they're going to have to mix up more for the other side, too. Um, tell them. Nothing. Okay. All right, they're, they're going to town with the epoxy. So we will be back with more. They're gonna, now they're going to stick it back on, basically, like they did before. And then... Uh, and then they'll do the other side. So they're doing this side now, looks like. Yeah, this side, the near side here. We're getting that all juiced up. So we will be back having fun with epoxy. Bye for right, now. Everybody. We just about got the top caps onto the plywood sides. Now they're all epoxy and nailed in with, of course, bronze nails. You only use bronze nails on these things, never any other kind. People call them copper and stuff like that and brass, but it's no, that's not copper, that's not brass. And if it is, it won't work because that's uh, copper and brass are not uh, compatible with salt water. Yeah, so anyway, they're gonna they're gonna pull this top in or set it up for the right distance. Honey, you want to measure that first or? Okay, we're going to measure and then we'll be back with more from my paradise. I'm going to tell you now. Then... <laughs> Bye for now. Hey, look what we got. One hole. Of course, it's just got the ribs in that. He made the ribs, or they made the ribs the other, the other day, so they were kind of prefabbed. All they had to do was uh, put the spacers in and then start cutting plywood. They already had the uh, nose piece cut, so uh, we just went to lunch and came back and boom, that's there. And of course this is the mothership and this is the other one that they had been uh, working on for the last few days. So this is day four, I'm pretty sure, of the catamaran boat build. And as you can see, one, two, three hulls. Wow. Pretty dang fancy if you ask me. <laughs> so anyway... We just got back. We had to go to the uh, lumber yard to order some more wood. Because I mean, we really got a lot more work to do. This is just kind of the outer shell. And like I said, you, know, you can see, not even the bottom is there. So uh, this will be the one of the outrigger hull type things. And of course, this is the main boot. And this, of course, is the other outrigger hull. And they just about got it done. And because they're identical, they just repeat steps A through Z that they did there, and voila, they got that one. So it's already kind of pre pre made. Then before I was here, had to be here, you know, doing that one because I had to make sure everything was done right. And done because they've never done this before. And this boat, uh, especially the outer hulls, are not like this hole because the front's pointed and the back is pointed well that one the front's pointed but the back is going to have stairs like a you know like a catamaran you know like uh, you know, sugar scoops they call them so anyway and we're using my saw horses that i built you see that to hold up the holes and over here i need to build another saw horse there i need to build three more but we got three built but we ran out of wood so we can't build any more sawhorses just yet. 
uh, tomorrow they're supposed to be bringing in the rest of our lumber. This is our lumber supply here. And uh, we got enough to you know, continue uh, work here, but uh, not enough to uh, really, well, actually we could, we could pretty much complete how these look but just not do the motor mounts and uh, the stairs on on the back and you know that type of stuff so there's a little bit more that we're gonna have to do before we can uh, uh, well we need the other lumber for that so we will be back with more let's get back here see if you can see all three it's not gonna be that far apart it'll be a little closer closer in because I, I don't want too much leverage from here on the cross structure so the shorter this is the less leverage this has this has and this has against all the other ones so anyway there we are Catamar uh, trimaran they're building a trimaran so we'll be back with more from my paradise on the Tayan Island trimaran is taking shape bye for now what we have on the inside of the boat is we got uh, one by two here and one by two here and one by ones for all the ribs and then we put the plywood on of course and then after that uh, what uh, well once all that's done we're actually going to put a cross brace from there down to there and there up well this is going to be stairs here so from here to here to here to here to here to here to here like that so we're going to do a lot of cross bracing in here and uh because these have diesels diesel shake more and so you really want to uh firm up all this so we're going to have box in like with two by fours around the engine of course the back steps are all made from two by fours and then uh whatever we need to do at the front end to you know stiffen it up and give it some uh you know strength and also uh where the cross beams go from that but to this that hole that hole to this hole to this hole they'll be all boxed in with you know two by fours and tomorrow we got all the two by fours coming here too so we will be back with more catamaran building yeah so basically what happens is it's going to look like this once it's kind of in place and epoxied and all that stuff so we'll be looking like this here uh, until um, they put the bottom on and then uh, stairs and uh, the top deck will be the last and we'll have to somehow uh, cross brace notch out because the cross beam we want it to be flat with the flush with the top of the boat there the deck basically so we'll have to notch those out and uh cross brace and all that before we do that so anyway we will be back with more catamaran building from my paradise on the tiny island bye for now <laughs>